what is the most common mistake you see associates making when closing a sale? Well, here we are, isn't that kind of interesting? The problem that most people is one, they can't close. They don't ask for the sale ever. And um, they get so nervous about the, the sale closing, they kind of, their body language gets caught up in here. And, they're, and they say, you know, they start tripping themselves up. Would you like to look around? Do you think that's too much? Um, I also have this over here. And at that moment, we're down between product A and product B is the time that you need to be closing the sale and re in, uh, to reiterate uh, the things that you know that they liked about that product. But I think so many untrained employees add doubt to a sale at exactly the wrong time. Or I'll have to check. Or, oh, we could special order that. And ultimately, when you get to the end of the sale, you need to be rock solid. This person needs this product. They've told me they want it. I know we have it. It's the perfect thing. They should take it home from them today. And if your crew doesn't believe that, then guess what? You're again settling for crumbs when you have the feast, which is why I do sales training and SalesRx, my online sales training course, which I think 84% of our users report double digit increases within six months. If that doesn't matter to you and you want to just keep saying, why aren't we closing more sales? Then you're just going to keep hitting your head against the wall because at the end of the day, you have to change if you want to get better. So there you go.